Jim says if you add any two different prime numbers, the answer will never be a square number. Jim is wrong. Explain why. Well, let's think about your square numbers. Now your square numbers are 1 times 1 is 1, 2 times 2 is 4, 3 times 3 is 9, 4 times 4 is 16, and 5 times 5 is 25, and 6 times 6 is 36. Okay, now we want to try and find an example where two prime numbers add together these. That would also help us if we had our prime numbers. Right, so let's go, 1 is not prime, 2 is, 3 is, 4 is not, 5 is, 6 is not, 7 is, 8 is not, 9 is not, 10 is not, 11 is, 13 is. And we see if there's any of these that we can put together to add to give any of them. Oh, we've got 5 and 11 is 16, plus 11 equals 16. Uh, we could also have 13 plus 3, also equals 16. We could 7 plus 2 equals 9. Okay, any of these are fine. The only thing that you can't have, you can't have 2 plus 2 is 4 because it does say two different prime numbers.